Urkan Corpomante <laughs> and this is Gordon yes, sir. from F Spot. If you guys watch cars on YouTube, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard this guy. If you haven't, link below in the description. Go and check out this guy. He does some great stuff. Today we've both spent the morning on track. Yes, sir. How have you found it? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, it just sounds fantastic. In one fantastic. word. Yeah. And right. now we've got the second half of the day on yes. the road, which sort of arguably I'm almost more interested in because I think you're going to spend 99% of your time definitely on the road in these things. But on track, it's been out of this world. I've actually split my videos in to two. Okay. So I'm going to do a, a road video oh, and a okay. track video just because they're just so different. Two, two separate yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Man. Cool. Okay, so what are we in? Well, the name needs no introduction. We've seen this car was launched at Geneva earlier this year, and it was uh, supported by uh, what I would say was a controversial Nurburgring at that time. Yes, very controversial. You know, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, when that came out, pretty much everyone I knew was like, there's no way. Yeah, um, definitely. Now, having driven this thing on track earlier this morning, I can say I'm pleasantly surprised that it is, it was wow. You know, it's a fantastic car. Yeah. The biggest change for me, though, is the front end. The Huracans that I've driven in the past, the front end has been a little bit on the steer It would oh, really? wash out a bit. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Gotcha. Um, but this thing, the front end on this is absolutely planted. We just conveniently found ourselves a, a lovely straight. So let's see what this thing's all about. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So it doesn't hang. Around. It does not hang around. Oh my goodness. One of the one of the number one things for me that Lamborghini do best is theatre. Like the drama and theatre of, of these things. Even before you even step in it, just the way it looks is so cool. Yeah. You press start up. This V10 sounds fantastic. The overrun. I'm not sure if it'll do it. Do I have to put it into course over that? Look at it. There you go. It's just a lot. It's such a lovely sound, isn't it? And they've nailed this gearbox. So the 640 naturally aspirated horsepower through this V10, which revs to 9,000, mated with a fabulous, as you can hear, twin clutch gearbox. I mean, it is rapid. The downshifts are absolutely out of this world. It spools up the engine so fast. And in Corsa, I'm thankful to say it isn't too violent. It still gives you a nice nudge in the back when you shift, but it's nothing like the single clutch days, which was like being hit in the head with a shovel. This is just a nice reassuring tap. But those downshifts, man, it just has me shifting when I don't even need to. Yep. I find myself playing it like an instrument, you know? Yeah. It's fabulous. generation variable steering rack okay. which when you were going at slower speeds it would get lighter so okay. when you're driving around town right etc it was it was convenient then the problem was that the way that they set it up in the early days when you were approaching a corner it would load up oh. unexpectedly you were it was a little bit unpredictable upon first turning where you're actually going to end up gotcha. really happy to say that with this to say it feels all right i can definitely tell it's still there but it weights up well as soon as you start going a bit faster so i would say the ride is stiff right the ride is really yes. fairly jumpy yeah. <laughs> now don't get me wrong we're not exactly on the best roads but even even still i can tell it's got a sharp edge to it but i would imagine as a as an overall package the kind of car that you would do a road trip in and then when you got to some tight twisty alpine roads this thing will be fantastic oh yeah i find when i drive the aventador it feels a big car but this i feel confident threading it down what is quite yeah. clearly quite a tight road very nimble yeah, yeah. It feels light too. Now they've actually only shaved 40 kilograms off this car compared with a standard Huracan. But whatever else they've done has 
I would say made it greater than the sum of its parts because it feels really light on its toes, like floaty. I don't know if I'm going the right way, but this looks nice. <laughs> having a chat about what we think of the forged carbon yep. now admittedly it splits opinions right definitely do you prefer yeah. it in the matte finish rather than the glass or do you just not like it I just honestly don't really... <laughs> I, I didn't like it at the Geneva show okay and I'm not sure if I'm convinced yet okay honestly cool it might grow on me but yeah I don't really know yeah I'm kind of halfway like so I don't like the gloss version. It reminds me of a kitchen worktop. Right, exactly. But the sort of matte satin finish pulls it off a bit better. Definitely. I'm not sure if you can get that finish on the exterior or not. Oh, okay. And gotcha. you also can't spec it without it. Like it, like the exterior comes with it. Yeah, it just comes that's with it. it. Yep. But it would be, it would really help if you could have it matte. Definitely. Rather than that sort of gloss finish. Yeah. I'm sure if you can't, you could easily wrap it with like a matte PPF or something. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of with you. I'm not entirely sold. Yeah. Um, I just wish it was like an option, you know, like to take it off or leave it on. But... Yeah. But the interiors, I mean, for me, Lamborghini, I like the flamboyance of them. I like that because I think when you've got a supercar right now in this day and age, we're getting to a point where these cars are so usable. Like yeah. if you go back right. years, it was like to get your supercar out was it was an event, but mostly because they were impractical and like hard Definitely. work, yeah. you know? Now, because these days they're so easy to drive, you would jump in them without thinking about it. I think yeah. they have to use other elements to make make it more of a sense of occasion. And for me, Lambo does that, arguably almost better than most. Their interiors are so yeah. flamboyant and they look rad and they sound great. I mean, Lambo's sound, how most cars sound after you put a aftermarket exhaust on. Yeah, exactly. This thing sounds crazy from factory. Yeah, it's stark. And I love that. It's brilliant. So we're almost back at the track. So in summary then, G, yep. we both want one. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I guess the question is what color do you want? There you have it. it. Okay, so which color, what spec would you go for? Ooh, tough one. Definitely some sort of shade of blue, I guess. Okay. I don't know which one exactly, cool. but I mean, so, I saw like with the app persona, like the yeah. colors. Like, yeah, yeah. You have every shade of blue. Every oh, shade the customization of you can do is unreal. It's everything, yeah. Anything you want. So, so I actually really like this. The in yellow's great, okay. But I also love these new matte and satin finishes that they're doing. Yeah. So I'd probably lean towards a satin yellow. Nice. Like a matte satin <laughs> yellow, black rims. I go satin forged carbon, so it's not too like right. Blingy. Yeah. I think that I go down well. That'll be great. Although you've got the California sunshine to go back to, whereas yeah. I have this like <laughs> over overcast sort of. Our, yeah. our Pantone in England is just grey. Yeah. So I reckon the brighter the car, the better. Just brighter exactly. you're right there. there you okay, welcome to Imola Race Circuit. Now Lamborghini have gone all out on this and they've set up a little mock design center within the Imola circuit. And over there, um, this is uh, the tape drawing. Uh, something tape drawing. really tape drawing you can also oh, wow, yeah, it is. Crikey, this whole thing is tape. I thought it had been painted or drawn. Yeah, you can, you, this is a uh, technology uh, that is uh, very, let's say, quite old, quite uh, romantic. Uh, it's but it is still, cool work. It's very still effective, cool. huh? That's incredible. I honestly wouldn't have known that was tape unless he'd have just pointed that out. It's a really cool, cool drawing. 
So for example, I can demonstrate it is possible to, to create a silhouette of a car very, very quickly. You can start here with the nose of the car and then the typical, the typical front fender of a Lamborghini. I can't believe they're drawing this in tape, it's amazing. So the, for us it's very important, you know, a Lamborghini must have the single center line. Look at this, well, you can see it's taking shape now. Wow. So even if I don't have the wheels at the moment, uh -huh. yep. you can create a silhouette. Uh, very, much very, so. very, very simple. I'm not sure it looks so good if I tried it, mind you. But you can also try if you want. This is no Maybe problem. later. <laughs> That's so cool. So you can, this is really a technology that is, uh -huh. it seems old, but it, yeah. you can create something very fast. It is some, something really... <laughs> it's amazing. So, within a lot, uh, you know, that takes so long, yeah. But you can create something. And for this drawing, we will finish today. Um, all tape. All this tape, yeah, we are finishing today. Also, the, yeah. the painting over there, we will finish today. This, this is our well. concept. Yeah, we want to show. So this, this has been done in one day. We just started this morning. One, this morning. one two hours, yes. Okay. And uh, like, like I said, come back in 30, 30 minutes or yeah. an hour or after lunch, and you will see it's continuing. Yeah, this is the concept. Or this is standing for the future. Okay. Lamborghini, but uh, it is, in the end of the day, it is a sculpture of the Huracan. Yeah? Sure. But it is showing our design DNA very well. So, like I, like I explained, a Lamborghini must have the single center line that was created by Marcello Gandini, a famous designer from Turin. Uh -huh. He did uh, all the cars of Lamborghini in the 60s and 70s. And then it's important also to have this uh, proportion of the car, this uh, extreme angle of the side window with the door. Yes. And uh, also on this object, we can, for example, I can demonstrate. More tape. This, this tape's handy stuff, huh? <laughs> yes, this is, for us, this is uh, vital. For the designers, it's a vital thing. Um, because, for example, let's say this would be the Lamborghini of the future, so, and we discuss with the designer, or maybe we can change a little bit the body side. So, with the tapes, we can, we can discuss. You know, it's a, for us, it's Interesting. A cool, so you use this as the sort of fundamental shape yes. and then you augment it with tape to see yes. how you could evolve it. Exactly. So for example, I could say, ah, can we not try to make this surface a little bit bigger? Uh -huh. So the modeler later or the digital modeler knows, okay, we have to take five millimeter maybe material down here. Yeah. Or we can, uh, we say, okay, maybe the window line should be a little bit faster. So we can, we can, we can, we can, so I can pinch it down a notch. Exactly, and then we can say, okay, let's reduce a little bit the angle here and wow. make this more flat. That's amazing. When you stand back, just by applying this tape, you can really see how that works. The simple things are always the best. I'm not, this might come across like I sound really stupid, but I'm really impressed with that. Well, that was particularly awesome. So today is split into two days. We've got track time and road time. They're both quite significant times with that car, so I decided to split them into two videos. So be sure to head over and check out the other video to get a feel of what this car's like in first situation. As always guys, thanks for watching. Ciao!